So some of the challenges that we faced are, you know, people that are released from prison that fall into relapse almost immediately. And we don't want to be so quick to send those people back into prison. The one thing that people don't need is to be an addict and go to prison. That's, you're just sitting there until you can get your time done and you get back out. You're not getting the counseling that you need. You're not getting the addiction counseling that you need. Like somebody willing to listen to them versus just throw them in jail, you know, just to keep that cycle going, like, you're not helping. You know, like, okay, you just got more time to think, do you want to be sober? Or what I'm going to do to get real high when I get out of here. We're not going to lock up this problem and get it solved. It's just not going to happen. So, um, you know, moving uh, prevention and appropriate treatment, you know, that whole continuum of care with behavioral health is, is really important. Starting that process, what are the most immediate concerns that they have and getting those boxes checked, getting the job, getting some type of housing. I've been really impressed with Free Three Recovery and you know the the care coordination that it's managed. With these guys, like it's a lot of support. Like I know that I can call them, like any of them, you know, if I need to, and they're there. To actually have people that care, that care about you, it's a game changer. It makes you want to do things ten times better. Those are my ladies. <laughs> that's, that's what I tell everybody. Those are my ladies. Um, I've been really amazed at the partnerships, the relationships we've been able to build with, with the probation, parole and probation officers where we can just pick up the phone or send an email and connect. So everybody knows and it's a big circle. So if I'm like distancing myself or like not keeping appointments, somebody to hold me accountable as well as myself. It's really nice to see that, um, that those services are there for the clients we supervise to keep them um, from you know, falling back into criminal behavior, um, reducing the chances that they will uh, relapse and to keep them you know, on the right track. Finding good support is really, is really hard to find you know, good, good support and this program has helped me with that. I think that like, with these programs and stuff, like, I feel like things can change.